looking around um, your offices, we've seen sandbag windows, gloomy corridors, clearly huge security precautions that you have to take. I mean, what, what, has, what has your life become? I mean, how often do you get to, to see your wife, your children? Um, and, and on your children, I wondered, you know, how do you explain what's happening to them? What are the difficult questions they ask you and, and how, do you, how do you explain it? Uh, thank you so much. It's, it's great that we have uh, very smart children in Ukraine. It's a pity that they are the children of the war. But they are uh, not children from the first days of the war. They became adults, really, uh, because of the war. And they, you don't need much time to explain something. They understand everything, sometimes better than you, really. It's, 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 it's a fact. They understand everything. I, uh, I, uh, so when, when we meet, I have just, we don't speak about the, we don't speak about the war because they, they know everything, all the details. They are not asking when the war will finish. They know that we need this victory for saving our nation. And this, you don't want to have any influence on their minds. They have it. They are very strong. So I have meetings with, with my wife. Yes, she, she, she comes to me. She comes to me and uh, she, she had a lot of work and also humanitarian work. So we, we, we speak about it and we have a lot of meetings online and, and offline. She, she, she comes, for, we, have, we have some meetings. More often than it was at the very beginning of the war, of course. Of course, but, but anyway, uh, some security issues we, we, uh, ha have influence on, on our life, of course. My final question, Mr. President, will be, um, uh, Obviously, the world knows you now as a um, world leader who's galvanized uh, support for Ukraine's allies on the international stage. But before that, um, we also know that you had a very successful career as a comedian. And I wonder whether, you know, in your darkest days, do you still find time for humor? And does that help you uh, cope with uh, the situation you're living through? Um, I think you can't live on, uh, without it, because when you see people, when you see your children, you when, when you see your 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 children, some some sometimes sometimes you want to you know want to hold them. I mean to support them, to support your children. Sometimes they you miss you very much, and sometimes between us they are, they are crying a little bit, and you can't when they cry you can't cry. You can't give such possible for, for yourself how, how it will be. You, you have to be strong and you have to teach them also to be strong because it's, it's difficult for everybody, not for my children, for Ukrainian children. It's difficult, it, but it's not so difficult like the situation with those children who are stolen by Russians. Yes, that is I mean, something, something not understandable for for, for me, is, yeah. So, so of course, and when you want to support your your children or your or your wife, and sometimes your parents, uh, you have to to show that your you know, everything is okay. Find, sometimes find some jokes about it. Jokes help. <laughs> it's really thank you. Yeah, very thank much. you so much.